practice exam for uh, Math 104, uh, we're trying to A, solve for tan squared 5 theta equal to 1 third, 4 theta in tan squared 5 theta equal to 1 third. Uh, when you have um, s basically uh, trig equations, first you want to solve for a trig value. Here the trig value given is tan. So I want to solve for tan. Um, solving for tan here is not too bad because I just take the square root and I will have uh, on the other side I will have plus minus square root of one third. Um, or I can write it as plus minus one over square root of three or plus minus square root of three over three. Either one's okay. Um, now that I know, uh, now I, ha I know that two sets of solution exist, tan 5 theta equal to square root of 10, 5 theta equal to uh, 1 over uh, square root of 3, 10, 5 theta equal to negative 1 over square root of 3, um, let's solve from for each uh, in each of these new equations for theta. Uh, so the first one, and I have to remember, um, one over square root of three. It's basically on the side side work. Uh, one over square root of three is um, one half over square root of 3 over half. And that is, if you look back at your um, sine and cosine values, um, basically because tan, if this is tan of 5 theta, this is going to be sine of 5 theta and cosine 5 theta. So I can write it this way and remember um, sine of 5 theta, theta is equal to 1, uh, and here I can assume it's the first, the first angle I find is in the first quadrant, um, and, I, and you know the second one it would be in the third quadrant because we add a pi. So here I can say that 5 theta uh, has to be, according to this, is going to be equal to pi sixth plus k pi, and that one is equal to 5 theta, um, because negative 1 over square root of 3, I can write it as negative 1 half over square root of 3 over 2, and with the sine 5 theta over cosine 5 theta, um, with the negative value, I can either say, um, look in the third quadrant, where um, pi 6 in the third quadrant. Let's see. Here's um, pi 6. Uh, sine and cosine are positive. Over here, um, uh, basically, pi 6 plus, uh, hold on. Here we have um, 5 pi 6, and then we have 7 pi 6. But here, both sine and cosine are negative. And over here, uh, sine is negative and cosine is cosine is positive. So I can start with 11 pi sixth, and say k pi. Am I done? No, just one more step, and that one more step is dividing everything by five. So pi over 6 divided by 5, uh, you know the 5 goes where the 6 is, it goes to the denominator, becomes 30 plus k pi divided by 5. And here theta is equal to 11 pi over 30 plus k pi over 5. And that's the solution to this part. Now. The next part is asking to find uh, uh, the arc functions. So part B 
is asking to find one sine of arc cosine of x. And so now I have to remember this is an angle alpha such that uh, in and such that cosine of alpha is equal to x. From there I draw a triangle alpha here. Cosine means um, adjacent and I write it as x over 1 over hypotenuse. Now here I'm supposed to find sine of alpha Therefore, um, looking at here, I need to find the opposite side. My right triangle is not very right triangle. Let's make it a little bit adjustment. Now it's not a triangle very much, but um, it's okay to be approximate in these cases, in the picture of cases. So now I have um, hypotenuse to power 2 is equal to x2 to, to power 2. Let's make this a question mark plus question mark to power 2. Here, question mark to power 2 is 1 minus x squared. And so the question mark is square root of 1 minus x squared. Now, um, sine of this angle alpha is question, one, uh, question mark, which is square root of 1 minus x squared. The, um, um, the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. And that hypotenuse is 1, so I'm not writing it down. Um, part 2 of B, this was 1. Here's 2. It's asking us to, cos to find cosine of arc tan of x. And here again, this is arc means an angle. Uh, and x is the ratio in this case. So I know that I'm supposed to find cosine of alpha, but what is alpha? Alpha is an angle whose tangent is equal to x. Draw your right triangle again, and alpha is equal to uh, opposite over adjacent. Using Pythagorean, I find the hypotenuse uh, Pythagorean theorem, and I get x squared plus 1 to power 2 equal to question mark to power 2. So question mark is equal to square root of x squared plus 1. Now, to find the cosine of this angle alpha, I can see that I have to do uh, adjacent over hypotenuse, and that solves the problem.